When I see students and they are very excited about being in medicine, they're excited about seeing something for the first time, being in a surgery, getting to participate in the team, I am always reminded that I was once that student. And it also helps to spark the joy that then inspired me to go into medicine. And so it's such an amazing experience to be around that joy and that excitement on a regular basis. I think I'm very lucky in the sense that I get to do so many different things. You know, I get to see patients, I get to teach, I get to operate, I get to do research, I get to collaborate with so many different experts. I became a gynecologic oncologist because as I learned more about women's health, I realized this was the specialty that really fit all of the things that I love doing. GYN oncology really spoke to me the most. It is a pretty heavy surgical subspecialty and I really enjoy doing procedures. I also really enjoyed the longitudinal relationships that I would develop with patients. So I don't just see patients and then do surgery and then not see them again. Typically, especially for cancer patients, not only will I see them from the beginning of their diagnosis, through their surgery, and then even beyond as they're going through treatment, I get to know them, I get to know their families, and I really enjoy hearing people's stories. So that is one of the key things that actually helps me to um, sometimes get through these very tough situations that patients are going through. Really seeing their resilience and their strength is what actually gives me strength to be able to continue to do those things. Having a relationship with a patient and the care provider is also part of what allows a person to heal. Someone could be a world-renowned surgeon, author, researcher, but if a patient doesn't feel as if they care about them and respect them, it almost doesn't matter what they can do for them. You know, at the end of the day, if the patient doesn't feel cared for, that's also part of their healing. And um, sometimes we can't always cure a disease, especially when it comes to cancer. But that doesn't mean that there isn't anything that we can do in terms of treating the person, treating the whole person, treating their family, um, giving them dignity and respect, even if it means near the end of their life. Mm -hmm.